Hi there everybody. I'm about to introduce you to a new program called NumBots, which our school has purchased for you to use at home and at school. So basically NumBots is very similar to Times Tables Rockstars. For Times Tables Rockstars, you concentrate on learning your Times Tables, whereas for NumBots, you're working on learning your number bonds. So this is the launch lesson, and I'm just going to go through some of the major features of NumBots for you. Hi, I'm Rusty, and I live here with my friends. Hi, I'm NinjaBot. Hi, I'm BettyBot. I'm looking for spare parts to upgrade myself until I'm brilliant. My dream is to shine inside and out like a diamond. Hi, I'm Kitty Box. You'll also find coins along the way. You can spend them in the custom shack to build your favourite robot. There's a lot of hidden things in our scrap heap. The more you look, the more you find. So, do you remember the name of all the friends of Rusty? Let's go through them. There's Betty Bot. And then there's Kitty Bot. There's also Ninja Bot. And finally, we're back to Rusty. And what does Rusty want to do? That's right, he wants to upgrade himself. Can you think of other words for upgrade? Well, I'm thinking improve, make myself better, enhance. So what Rusty is trying to do is enhance or improve his look. But not only on the outside, he wants to shine inside and out, which means that inside he wants to look as good or be as clever as he is on the outside. So we're going to take a look at NumBots in a little bit more detail. So first of all, you can play NumBots on a laptop, on your tablet at home or on your phone. We're all going to begin NumBots in story mode. Now, as you can see, there are two modes when you click on NumBots, there's Story and Challenge. To begin with, you start on Story node, mode, and then you have to unlock Challenge. And I think, as you go through, you'll find out that to unlock Challenge, you have to get to a level called Bronze Level. You'll find out more about that in a minute. Let's look at Story. So there are, these are called Stages, and there are 18 Stages which we're whizzing through now. And the different stages are named by materials that Rusty could be made out of. So I'm going to press on Rust for you, which is one of the very first stages where Rusty begins. And as you can see, it's set up as levels. And level one has got five parts. And we've got to press level one, and it tells you how many, asks you a question, how many cogs there are in total. Just watch the animation to see what to do. And there you go. Very similar to Times Tables Rock Stars. So at the end of the level, you'll see how many stars you earn. So this time, this person has only got one star. The orange button means have another go. Now, to be able to go onto the next level, you have to earn two or three stars to unlock the level. What do you think that button means? Well, it means move on to the next level. And that one means go back to the level menu. Basically, if you get two or more stars, you can move on to the next level. But if you only get two stars, it's probably better to challenge yourself and keep going until you get three. 
and then you will be really secure in your knowledge of that particular number bond. Okay, so once you've got your two or your three stars, level two is unlocked, and then you can have a go at level two. Now, having a look at this little picture here, why do you think that level three is not unlocked? That's right, that's because for level two, the person has only managed to get one star. So you have to go back and re have another go so that you um, can get two or more stars. And this is a picture of iron, the iron stage being built up. So in every stage, you will earn parts to upgrade Rusty. And you can see the different parts building up here until each stage is complete. Here is Rusty, up, uh, Rusty now upgrading right to the end of each stage. Are you ready? Go. Okay, let's now look at logging into NumBox. So when you go on to NumBox, NumBox onto the, the screen, you will come up with this page and you need to go to the schools icon. Press on the schools icon and then go to pupils. Then you're going to see this picture and it says type your school name or your postcode. You can type either Claremont Primary School, but because there's more than one Claremont Primary School, it's probably best that we type our postcode. And then once you've done that, it will take you to the next page, which will ask you to put in your username and your password. And your username and password is the same as your one for Times Tables Rockstars. So you put in your username in the top bar and you put in your password in the second and you press press click. So when you are going to log on, our school postcode is NG51BH. So if you put that into the first bar, you should be able to move on. Now, once you've logged in, you are going to be able to choose your own bot. And there are three to choose from. Once you've chosen your bot, you will not be able to change it. So make sure you choose the right one from the beginning. Okay. However, as you go along, you will be able to buy parts for your bot to enhance it or to upgrade it according to how many stars you've won. You've also got to choose a name for your bot, which will stay with you for the whole of your NumBot journey. Okay, and then stop step three is to click on story to begin. So remember to press enter after you've typed your answer each time, just like you would do on Times Tables Rockstars. Okay, so now it's your turn. Once you've turned this video off, I want you to log in to NumBots, choose your bot and your bot's name, play story for about 20 minutes, just story for today, and then log out. You can play it for more than 20 minutes if you like, but I don't really want you to go on to challenge today. I want that to be something that we cover next week. Okay, bye.